Hello, we are the SpaceX fans and welcome to the SpaceX show, the place where you can stay up to date with everything SpaceX. On Tuesday, SpaceX launched yet another Falcon 9 mission with the launch of CRS-24. Cargo Dragon soars with the final supply run in 2021 for the astronauts aboard the International Space Station. The booster which launched this mission, B-1069, then landed successfully for the first time on the drone ship. Just read the instructions. SpaceX posted an exciting couple of tweets related to the landing of this Falcon 9 booster. The first tweet said, Falcon 9's first stage has landed on the Just Read the Instructions drone ship marking the 100th successful landing of an orbital class rocket booster. Then they also posted saying, six years ago today, SpaceX successfully landed an orbital class rocket booster for the first time. Everyday Astronaut posted a tweet saying, how crazy is it that SpaceX just landed a Falcon 9 for the 100th time on the 6th anniversary of landing their first booster? Incredible, industry-rocking and all-round inspirational feats. Great work, SpaceX team, for setting new standards. Then he posted another saying, Elon Musk, I know Starship is your new focus, but it would be fun to tour Hawthorne or KSC and nerd out over the Falcon 9 sometime together too. That rocket deserves more love. Musk responded and said, I talked about Falcon 9 and Heavy for over a decade. Heading over to Boca Chica, here's a view of the launch site. In the production yard, here's a view of the latest progress on a new wide bay. The NASA Artemis Twitter account posted a picture of Starship 20. They said NASA recently visited SpaceX for a first-hand look at a prototype of the human lander that will ferry NASA Artemis astronauts to the lunar surface during Artemis 3. This demonstration will lay the foundation for a long-term human presence at the moon later this decade. This 33 Raptor engine thrust dome was spotted outside and placed on the sleeving mount. This new bulkhead has now also been sleeved in the production yard. A new booster upper bulkhead was then placed on the sleeving mount. During the week, that too was also sleeved with its ring stack. This new booster common dome section was moved into the high bay. I believe another section has been stacked with this new section that was moved into the high bay. The Starship 21 tank section was recently moved into the high bay and then back into the mid bay. The Booster 4 prototype underwent some further cryoproof testing recently. Taking a look at the road and beach closures on the Cameron County website, there are still a load of dates posted. We can hopefully expect some testing either today or tomorrow this week, as well as some possible testing dates from Monday through Thursday next week. Finally, to finish our video for today, we once again have the latest Starbase production diagram thanks to Brendan Lewis. As always, thank you to both Mary, known as Boca Chica Gell, and Nick Ansuini for being out there filming the Boca Chica content. Also, thank you to the NASA Spaceflight team working behind the scenes on their videos, live streams, and other space content. That's it for this episode of the SpaceX Show. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to hit the like button and leave a comment down below. If you want to stay updated with SpaceX info, make sure to subscribe and press the bell icon to get notified when I upload. Thanks for watching and have a great day.